What's up guys, Digimassy here, and welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to an episode of Potential Transfers. We've got a template to get through today, and we're just like two or three weeks actually away from the window itself. So very close, and some of these could be confirmed in the next few weeks or so, guys. So as always, if you smash 2,000 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. In the comments below, know your thoughts on today's rumors, and uh, rumors I should the next episode. And if you to my channel, click subscribe and follow daily FIFA content. And we're gonna start things off then today with a little Italian, which is going to Lorenzo Insigne of Napoli. Today's actually linked with Arsenal, and this is according to the Daily Star. This and Arsenal keeping a close eye on Lorenzo and uh, Insigne with Arsene Wenger seriously interested in Napoli forward and they actually do want to add some depth to their team because the likes of Alexis Sanchez have had a few injury worries as of late and they want to push that title and for that they do need depth. No fears mentioned whatsoever, but I think he's actually in some quite good form this season for Napoli so far. I'm not sure if it's like team of season worthy or anything like that. Um, but I know he's had a few in forms of FIFA, which means he's had a few spread at games here and there uh, if he's not actually consistent. But he's a nice little player on FIFA and will be a very nice one for hybrids. And next up then, we have got Jason Murillo. Um, essentially today linked with Real Madrid and Barcelona. And then you call him Jason Derulo. But either way, this is according to Gazzetto Dello Sport. They're saying the reports in it today claim that both Spanish giants have strong interest in the 23-year-old Colombian. Both sides are actually willing to offer upwards of 30 million euros. So he's actually young, but he has actually also played international level and he has also uh, played in Spain before, if I'm incorrect, before. I think it's like Granada or something like that last season. So he's obviously got experience in that league and uh, both teams seem to be looking out for a centre-back next season. But he could be on the cards, but a big feat if they do get him. And the third player today is into Jamie Vardy. The man has some like shit hot form right now for Leicester City. And today he's into actually Chelsea. And this one seems quite weird because usually it's Chelsea at the top of the table and Leicester City probably about where Chelsea are. But no, this season Leicester are top and Chelsea are struggling towards the bottom half of the table which is mental to think and fair freaking play to Leicester City. Today, Jamie Vardy, according to the Daily Telegraph, has been linked with Chelsea. He says that Chelsea are looking to bol uh, bolster their attack options in January after a poor start to the season with Vardy, Berahino and also Alex Teixeira on their shortlist but also Mourinho could look to Higuain or Emmanuel Adebayor. I've no idea where the Adebayor link came from but either way, he's on that list and uh, again, that's according to the Daily Telegraph at least. And actually, Jamie Vardy again following this one and that is to the league of BVA and in particular Gary Neville's uh, Valencia and the source is the Daily Star and they are saying then that the new Valencia coach Gary Neville has urged a club to sign Jamie Vardy the England international is the runway top goal scorer in the BPL this season with 14 goals in 15 games so far he also worked with Neville as well uh, at international level with England I think let's still keep hold of their main man though um, because there'll be some big bids I'm not saying that he won't have any interest he'll have a lot of interest and uh, probably some hefty hefty fees as well but given his age I think he's like 28 I'm not sure if there'll be extortion enough for a lesser to be like you know what he's definitely have to go for that amount of money so it'll be interesting to see uh, if it actually does go in the January transfer window next up we have got Andre Cramridge another Leicester player this time and uh, today linked with Juventus and it isn't just Juve interested it is also Inter Milan they're saying that CalcioMarketo.com that is the source by the way they're saying that Juve and Inter are both targeting a move for Leicester City striker who's actually struggled to make an impact in his drawing I think he started off quite well um, like a fiery start but then since then has died off a hell of a lot with the likes of Mares and Jamie Vardy kind of still in the spotlight for how good they've been. It is quite strange he could potentially go from the bench of Leicester City not getting much game time at all to potentially getting a lot more game time than like Juventus or Inter Milan. But I suppose that's how football works. He may see the Italian game a lot better than the BPL. Next up, we have got Mamadou Saka, the guy I absolutely love at Liverpool, today linked with Roma. And Corey Adelo Sport then asked him that Roma is set to make a January swoop for Liverpool's Mamadou Saka. Despite him being currently injured, he will be fit for January. So that's one thing I want to point out. And it says they're pretty much looking to improve their defensive options uh, if, if, if reports are to be believed. But he has actually been linked to Rome before, I think is in the summer, and also last January when he was struggling. He only actually has like he's loved by Liverpool fans. This guy, um, obviously the Liverpool fans love trying Sacco at him, and he I think he loves Liverpool as well. I mean, he has only recently signed a new long-term contract, uh, which kind of makes me think this is bullshit. Or at least hope it is more than anything. Next up, we're gonna have uh, Marcos Alonso. I think is this guy that used to play for Bolton and Sunderland? If so, today he's into Barcelona as he currently plays for Fiorentina. And according to Sport, uh, apparently actually scouted him quite a bit. He has been very very impressed with the Serie A this season for the outfit which is Fiorentina and uh, like I mentioned if he did play for uh, Bolton or Sunderland this guy's come a very long long way uh, since them days so uh, potentially a new Barcelona player not too sure maybe like as a backup for uh, Jordi Alba or something like that but either way he's linked today to Barca and next up we're going to have Ashley Cole a guy who struggled at Roma and say linked to Aston Villa and that is according to the Daily Star there and the former Chelsea mainstay Ashley Cole could be in line for a return to the BPL in January with Aston Villa pondering a move for the soon to be free agent so I don't I think 
should actually be in January, but it would be in the summer. Um, although it does say in January, so probably they might have to pay a few million, uh, but not too much will break the bank or anything like that because he has struggled and may want to return to somewhere. He knows how to play and stuff like that. And next up, second to last one is going to be Papi Cisse linked to Galatasaray. And this is the Daily Mirror saying this, and they're saying that Newcastle United striker Papi Cisse is being watched by Galatasaray ahead of a potential January transfer bid. And uh, basically, he's been used spor uh, sporadically, they put it. Um, he's not guaranteed first team football and he's hardly actually playing at all. So he actually started as Liverpool, done quite well for himself, um, didn't get on the score sheet, but he put himself about very well. And Galatasaray could offer first team football, which he does want. And this, he's not getting it under Steve McLaren, essentially. And the final player then is going to be a big one, Antoine Griezmann, linked to Chelsea. And this is the Daily Mirror yet again saying this one. And they're saying that Antoine Griezmann is Chelsea's number one target for the upcoming January transfer window. It may well be impossible to try and uh, pry the Frenchman away from Atletico Madrid midway through the season because they love him. He's, he's kind of a, a, a pivotal part of their squad and they won't get rid of him for cheap. If a big offer came in and apparently Chelsea could use Diego Costa as bait. And that's after apparent disagreements between him and Mourinho. But Mourinho may not be there much longer. So that part could actually be bullshit. But I think Griezmann will probably be a Chelsea player, I reckon, in the next few years. Uh, whether it's January or not, we'll have to wait and see. And that then is going to cover all today's potential transfer rumours, guys. So enjoy this video, smash that like button, 2,000 likes would be absolutely awesome. Subscribe for daily future content and let in the comments below your thoughts on today's rumours and uh, rumours I should do in the next episode, guys. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.